Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Open Source for Geeks. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to write a decorator in Python. Uh, before that, I strongly recommend you look at the blog that I have previously written on decorators. Uh, you should also look at what are closures in Python. Uh, it is similar to uh, closures in JavaScript. So if you are familiar with closures in JavaScript, I think this should be easy for you to understand. Uh, and the last thing is uh, you need to make sure you have installed Python on Windows or Linux, uh, whichever operating system uh, you are working with. Uh, once you have that in place, uh, I think you can follow this video to understand how do you write a decorator. Uh, so for this, I have installed PyCharm uh, free version of IDE. Uh, so in this, uh, let me go ahead and create a Python file called decorator. Uh, and in this, what we are going to do is we are first going to write a simple method that is going to take some arguments and return some value. Uh, and then we will write a decorator, uh, which we will decorate that function with, uh, which will essentially uh, track the time that it actually takes to execute the method that we write. So let's get started. We'll, we'll start with the method. Let's call it uh, get my name. So it will take uh, arguments and it will return Let's say my name, which is Aniket, and maybe we can add this arguments that were passed. All right, there we go. Um, and then what we can also do is we can simulate some time uh, that the method takes so that we can track and see how much time it takes uh, by writing a decorator. So for that, we can import time and we can see time.sleep. Let's add it two seconds. Uh, I think that should be good enough. So let's uh, quickly test this out. Um, let's send A and then some named argument as B. And then we can basically print it. Now let's go ahead and try to run this. Um, and it should wait for two seconds and there we go. It printed uh, my name, which is Aniket, and then it printed uh, arguments and then keyword arguments as well. Uh, so, so far so good. Now we basically want to write a decorator uh, and we will use, we'll decorate this method with that decorator and uh, the function of that decorator is basically to track how much time uh, this method is taking to execute. So let's do that. So we'll call it, um, let's say wrapper or let's say, let's call it time tracker. Um, and so this would take a function. So this is the function uh, which you need to call. So let's say you decorate this uh, method, get my name, the time tracker, uh, get my name is a function that will get passed here. Now, what we will do is we will write uh, inner method, uh, inner function. Um, uh, let's do pass for now and then we will return the inner function. So now once we do that uh, and obviously we'll, we'll basically call function here, which we'll see in a moment. Uh, but this is, this is what uh, is also called a closure. So you have an outer argument and you can access that uh, in the inner function. So that's exactly what a closure in Python is. Uh, so now let's go ahead and try to implement this. Um, this is what the schema of a decorator look like. And then you can simply uh, decorate this method with time tracker and uh, this will get executed before this method is called. Uh, so now let's go ahead and implement this time tracker. Uh, and this inner function uh, should have similar schema as get my name. So let's just copy this here so that whatever gets passed here gets passed here as well. Now we want to call function, but before that uh, we need to 
make sure we track the time uh, so for that you can uh, import dead time and let's call it start time is equal to date time dot now uh, and time is equal to date time dot now uh, then what we will do is we are going to execute the function which is passed and it should it will obviously have some written value and uh, we are going to finally return this return value now when you execute this function you need to make sure you pass the same set of arguments um, and then this should work now let's add some logging here so that we know what's happening um, so I'll just add a method or let's call it function call at start time and we want to do something similar for end time and then uh, we will also print how much time it is taking took time and here we will do just end time minus uh, start time uh, so we created an initial method uh, it has a two seconds sleep uh, it returns uh, my name along with the arguments that we passed to the method uh, now we have defined a wrapper method uh, or what we call a decorator uh, decorator takes in the original function as the argument then we defined an inner function with the similar same uh, arguments as the original method uh, then we have uh, tracked start time end time uh, and before uh, in between each of this we have actually called uh, the original method with same set of arguments and once we get the return value we just return it uh, you could actually have multiple decorators so you could have another decorator on top of this and you can let's let's call it abc and then uh, you can you can you can do like an abc here so you can basically uh, cascade multiple uh, decorators and they will get called one after the another and the last method that gets invoked is obviously your actual original method uh, so let's go ahead and try to run this and see uh, what happens all right so uh, let's see what did we do wrong here actually we shouldn't be calling this method because this is just a method this is where we are invoking it uh, so that was like a syntax error so let me go ahead and run this again and there you go so you can see uh, it prints decorator now uh, it says the function was called at some time and then uh, it start stopped invoking the actual function at some time and you can see the difference is roughly two seconds uh, which you can see also in the third print statement that we added in the decorator uh, and the last is output where you can see it printed the name that it returned from the original method along with the arguments that we actually passed which is a and and the named parameters that we passed as a second set of arguments so that's how you write a decorator in python uh, the blog has some more details uh, as to how decorators work how you can cascade each of these uh, you could also use a class instead of a function to write a decorator where you can define a init class which takes in the actual function similar to how we did with the wrapper function and then uh, implement the call uh, function inside this class uh, and do similar thing as we did in the inner function uh, of the decorator that we just saw uh, in our PyCharm. Uh, so that's how a decorator works in Python. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on this.